Hey, old Platman here uh, with my wonderfully receding hairline. Uh, so, a thing happened this uh, weekend. I got married. Bam! I am now official uh, married man. So, ladies, beware. You know, don't get too close. And then I have to tease you or something. Sorry, pepper spray. Not yeah, whatever. Anyhow, bad joke. <clears throat> so, I was listening to a podcast today and. There's a couple things I wanted to talk about. The one of the things that came up in one of the podcasts I was listening to, Matt and Blonde show, if you're interested, they're terrific, is they mentioned briefly that the, there's this trial that's getting all haywirey with the uh, the guy who drove through this parade in Waukesha in Wisconsin. It was like a Christmas parade, happened in like the end of November last year in 2021. And he's, I guess he had lawyers and now he's representing himself and it's a super weird thing. And he's acting a fool, okay? And <laughs> to me, I'm just like, wait, hold up. He's been locked up, presumably, for almost a year, 11 months? Because it happened like at the end of November. So for 11 months, this guy's been locked up. How is that a speedy trial? Like, now, and granted, I don't know all the specifics uh, about why it's taking that long and yada yada, but it, we are running into similar things like with the uh, Alex Baldwin uh, trial, well, not even a trial. The dude, uh, this was six months ago, on a set, he, so, uh, hold on, real quick. With the Waukesha guy, if you don't know, look it up. He basically drove through a parade and ended up killing, I think, five people with an SUV, drove through a parade of people running over and killing five and injuring dozens of others. And he was caught and it was caught on camera that he's driving this vehicle at that time, like as, as, most, as most cut and dry as you can get. And somehow like, I don't know. And so that's kind of my question of the day is, I'm a big fan of innocent until proven guilty, right? So it's not enough that somebody witnesses it because anyone who knows anything about witnesses, uh, they you can show them someone and then two seconds later ask them to describe the person they just saw and they're gonna give a very hodgepodge thing. Ask them to describe what happened, it's gonna be very hodgepodge, okay? Uh, there's been instances, and I don't wanna get into the weeds on it, where People claim they saw something that didn't really happen. Uh, I remember listening to a whole thing about that. I think it was with uh, one of the shootings where they were like, oh, this guy killed a black man, blah, 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 blah. And you had all these alternate versions of stories and oh, the whole hands up, don't shoot thing was based on a lie. It was based on a false uh, witness. Like the, per the person who witnessed it was lying, totally lying. The events did not happen and they were proven wrong. So what I mean to say is that simply having a witness is not enough. Having visual evidence, having practical physical evidence, those are things that, okay. And in a way, if the sacrifice is, because I, I, I do, I don't know if I agree with the concept that uh, if one innocent, uh, oh, 10 guilty men should go free before one innocent man gets put in prison. So the concept behind that is, look, if you can't be so darn certain that the person actually did it, then you need to let him go. You can't just convict them on a suspicion. You need to have, you know, you need to go through the court of law. Now I have mixed feelings about that and our current legal system is so jacked and so messed up and well, there are areas in the United States and areas in the world that are dialing back stuff. And then reversely, we have the other problem of we have apparently one and a half million prisoners in the United States. That's ridiculous. What is that? Like, okay, so one percentage of the amount of people, there's 300 million people in the US, 1% would be 1 million, right? No, 3 million, sorry. So we have half of a percent, 0.5% uh, of our population is in jail right now. That's ridiculous, but I digress. 
So anyways, you have this guy and it was a year ago and there is like a mountain of evidence. He's got like some 75 counts of different things and we're just now getting to the trial. And to me, I'm like, guys, what? No, this should be quick. This should be fast. Like do it right now, do it the next week and handle this person. Now, so that's my opinion, okay? Uh, I don't think I have yet to hear any good justifiable reason why it should take that long. So that's one. The other thing that I had is Wisconsin, which is where this happened, doesn't have a death penalty. That's okay. They don't have to. But, and I think we, I, we brought this up before and it's been an interesting conversation. I don't know. I, one part of me thinks that yes, we should have the death penalty because I'm not okay with having people in prison for basically the rest of their life. Let's say they're 30 years old. And if they live to be, I don't know, prison is rough. Let's say they live to be another 40 years. So they die at 70 in jail. Well, okay. But unfortunately, now every other person in the community, the, their money is being taken from every single person to pay for this person in jail to be like out of society. That's the whole point of prison. Like we are taking you outside of society because you cannot follow the rules, you cannot be trusted. Now, while I am an advocate for that, I do think there needs to be a major, major situation of, okay, well, if you're in prison, you need to be doing an exchange. You don't get free TV, you don't get this, that, and the other thing, and free dental, and yada, 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 which is a lot of things to make it worse oh my gosh oh i'm gonna make a separate video about it but like sex changes in prison okay anyways so uh, if if we're paying for this person and in some instances it's uh i think it's i think there was a state it was like almost twenty thousand a year per inmate and and we're feeding and housing them and providing certain basic stuff and it's like, well, for starters, we're not even doing that to our veterans. Uh, that's actually almost as much, if not more money than we're giving to our senior citizens on social security. So we basically have a criminal entity and granted they're 0.5% of the population, but we have a criminal entity that we are effectively taking care of for a certain amount of time, oftentimes the rest of, or sometimes the rest of their life for nothing in exchange. The, the only practical exchange is you're removed from, from society. Well, that's not enough. Like just removing them from society to me is not justification enough to warrant the expense, especially when you consider like you can just take them behind the chemical shed and shoot them. Um, joking, but not joking. So then you get this thing of like, well, should we do that? And hey, that's my dad, by the way. Um, and the thing is, is, well, no, I don't necessarily think you should shoot them because you get in this issue of if you kill a person and you're a good person, that's going to taint you, your soul, your mind. Okay. Because even if the person is a horrible person, you murdered someone and maybe you never would have done that in your life at all. So now you're a murderer. Like just look into the, the, the people who were, uh, the, I want to say the people flying the planes who bombed those two cities in Japan during World War II. Look at what happened to them afterwards. They didn't go home and were like hunky-dory. A lot of them had very serious mental and emotional shit and did not survive their situation. So not to say, not to equate those two, because it's really not the same, but like not equating the bombing of two cities versus killing a axe murderer or someone who is a severe criminal with like three life sentences but it does beg the question of like all right if we agree that killing people for any reason is really what we should avoid fine fine i will meet anybody there i'll be like cool i can agree with that however then the other person and and really all of us but that person who's like such a huge advocate for we shouldn't kill criminals that have done really horrible stuff that we don't want in society good then find a way for that criminal while being incarcerated they need to do something that will that will produce minimum how much it costs to keep them 
And then frankly, they should be producing more. So if let's say it costs 10,000 a year to keep them incarcerated, then they should be producing 12,000 or $15,000 worth a year worth of something exchange to justify and for them to start paying back what they took from society. Because it's not enough to just remove them from society. They need to start exchanging back. Maybe they will never do. Maybe they will never exchange back. And I might have already talked about this, but I think instead of years, if we have that, that concept in, instead of years, what we should do is we should have, okay, uh, the damage to society and to this individual is $3 million. So we're gonna incarcerate you, which costs X $10,000 a year, right? So if you make, if you pay back that $3,000, not from outside money, but from being incarcerated, or maybe even from outside money, but then I just feel like rich people would just get out of jail all the time. But anyways, hypothetically, with your exchange in society, and maybe I think it should be just removed. So even if you're rich, if you're rich, you, you can't just pay. You, you actually have to be incarcerated and pay for it. You have to be removed from society because that's also the rub. We, we can't trust you in society anymore. So, we want you to pay, make amends, okay? But we also need you to be removed from society. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'm probably gonna make another video because I wanted to talk to you about this other thing, but you know what? No, no, skip it, skip it. We're just gonna do another. This is part two of the same video. Oh my God. Okay, so I uh, sometimes do some side work and my hair is just a mess. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I do some side work with this guy. He works in a, in a prison. And he was basically telling me about one of the inmates got a sex change. Now, I was like, what? It's like several hundred thousand dollars for a sex change. And paid for by us, by the way. This was a dude, dude prison, getting a vagina. But still, still in the dude prison. So not getting switched over to the girl prison. But they basically yoinked out that part and they put in the other part. And they were doing a fitting and like their question was how big is your partner so they're custom fitting a fake vagina and making sure it's big enough for his male partner in, i don't know why i did it in quotation his male partner in the prison and this is taxpayer dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars not only to, to make to fit the doctor's visits, all these other things, plus dental, stuff like that, right? Because, by the way, uh, prisoners get really good dental. They get really good dental. Like, the F. I don't know why, but they do. Okay? But, uh, okay. So, plus they're getting a sex change, plus one of the questions is, well, how big is your, your partner? This is messed up. This is not okay. Unacceptable. I mean, there's other stories while we're talking about stupid jail stuff. There's other stories where there's like a dude who identifies as a woman, doesn't get the sex change, gets shifted over to the female prison, and then knocks up and impregnates two uh, female inmates. And it's like, wh what did you think was gonna happen? You literally put a, a like a wolf in a hen house. And again, that's stuff that like, I don't know what the situation is on that, but effectively when the kid's born, then the kid's going to go immediately in the system because like the child protective services, because the mom's incarcerated. So, and on top of that, this guy's basically either having sexual relations or, or a, you know, doing horrible stuff to these women. And either way, it's like, why are we allowing this? There's so much prison reform. It's a whole other thing. I, anyhow, this is it for now. Plaid man out. I'm going to start making videos regularly. Uh, feel free to, you know, message or comment on these videos. If you're like, oh, I love it, I hate it, you're stupid or great, whatever. Love you all. Bye.